this is Tuesday night, uh, following our uh, narrow defeat at Grimsby. I'm joined tonight by George Wickens uh, and Conor McAvoy, uh, two of our loan signings with us uh, from Fulham's Academy. I guess the first place to start, George, with yourself is the fantastic news that you've uh, committed to Willstone yeah. for the rest of this season and turned down offers from football league clubs. Um, I guess let's let's start with uh, how much did you have a say in that uh, decision and, and the obvious question, why stay with Willstone when there's better, better football, higher standard of football to play for? In terms of, was it my decision? Yeah, completely. I had advice from, from a lot of people different advice from different people and I think in the end I decided to go with what sort of my gut was feeling and how I felt, I felt towards the club and, and how I've been enjoying it so much over the last, the last sort of five, six months since I've been here. I think um, the thing for me, the main reason I did was because I know I know here I'm, I'm guaranteed my 2025 20, more games to the end of the season, I've been enjoying it, get along with the group very well and sort of a no-brainer in terms of I, I, I feel as I'm confident enough. I know that I'll be playing in the leagues hopefully next year. Whenever I need to rush into that, I've, I back myself. I'll be I'll be there sooner or later, and I'm enjoying my football. So that's really that's good. It, yeah. And there's been lots of uh, plaudits coming your way in terms of I think you've most number of uh, saves this season in the national league and yeah. uh, what eight clean sheets is it? Yeah. Ask a stupid question: Is is being busier in games better for you? And, yeah. and what is it you're getting from Wilson that's keeping you here? I just think that I think I enjoy. For me, it works very well in terms of where it's part time here. I still get to go and train at Fulham, which I obviously enjoy. And I think the challenge of getting a lot, a lot to do within the games is exposing me to a lot more, which is also a reason why I feel as though I've learned and grown as quick as I have within the league because I'm, I'm getting that exposure every week. And yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely a factor. It's another factor as to why I, I stayed here because I'm enjoying my football so much and I'm busy every week and I'm really enjoying it. Absolutely. And Connor, you followed George uh, in what, September, October time, yeah, scored yeah. on your debut. What, what, what did you expect coming to Wilson, coming to this level of football and, and how's that matched up with your expectations? Um, I'm being honest, I don't really know what to expect. I, when I first came here, my first week of training and stuff, I was, obviously wasn't sure what it was going to be like. I knew it was a good level of football. I wasn't sure if I'd play or get much game time and stuff. Um, but after my debut, I like, Obviously, really enjoyed it. Played well, scored a goal, which uh, rarely happens. But yeah, no, like after that, I just like, realised how much better it is in 23 football and how important it is for me and my, my progress as a player. Um, what, what, what is the the big difference? I mean, we've we've played preseason friendlies against like Watford under 23s, yeah. um, and and obviously we see a very technical game. But the pace, the physicality, is is there a noticeable difference from yeah, your experience? Yeah, definitely. I think. Um, Obviously playing against men, just that, that, that much quicker, that much stronger than obviously lads in the 23s. Um, and you've got to make your decisions quicker. Like obviously coming from 23 football, it was definitely noticeable in uh, my first game. Um, I think I adapted pretty well to it. Like it's definitely, obviously going back and training with Fulham, um, I've noticed a difference between over yeah. there and here, um, which is definitely like, a positive one. Absolutely. And we, we've seen this week with the, the transfer <coughs> window closing, Clubs like Wrexham splashing the cash and bringing players from yeah. from League One. Obviously, I know you guys still have your training with Fulham and that, but as a part-time club, how how much is that? How difficult is it to come up against someone like Anoli Palmer? I appreciate you haven't played against him yet, but you know the league is littered with these players who are yeah. probably playing the couple of divisions yeah. beneath themselves. I guess that's a target ultimately, the way you want to get to. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it's tough for us in terms of uh, being part-timers. You probably don't get there time with the lads that I think probably the management team need at times to, to go over certain things. I definitely think we were learning a lot at the start of the season, sort of the first five, six games we were learning as it, as it sort of developed because we weren't getting that time to train and I feel as though we're in a very good place at the minute with that and I think on the Tuesdays and the Thursdays when we get the time to, to see each other I think we use it well and I think that has shown especially in, in some games this season. Fabulous and then just a little bit more about kind of where you've where you've got to at this point in your career. So, I mean, George, I think I'm right in saying that Fulham fan? Fulham yeah, always, fan, yeah, right? yeah, always have been. I had a season ticket since I was four or five years old, so yeah, it means a lot to be there. And you came out of youth football and you've been through the academy, I think, yeah. since you were 10, 11, right? Yeah, so I joined Fulham when I was 10. And you, so, so you must have seen some of the players that have gone up through yeah. the ranks, the likes of Ryan Sessegnon, Carvalho recently, just yeah, joined yeah, Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, how much do you 
take from that? You know, are you trying to measure yourself against these players? Or are you very much? Well, I think everyone's pathway is different. I've always always said that, but it's definitely. I think for me, the, the fact I've supported them since I was four or five is definitely a massive goal of mine. It keeps me very motivated. Is to play for the first team there one day, and eventually I feel as though I will. It's just part of the pathway and. and doing everything I can during to, to, to reach that goal sort of thing. Absolutely and, and Connor you've you've had international experience with, with Scotland. Yeah. How how far do you think your game can go? What, in in the future you mean? Yeah. Or, well I mean Do you set yourself goals, targets? Yeah, but not that long term. I sort of I'd say six months, take it yeah, take it every six months and just sort of see how well I progress. Obviously the first six months of this mm-hmm. season I think I've been Progressing nicely, um, you know, I've still got a few more years until I'm at my like, best, I'd say. Um, but yeah, obviously I've got targets for the rest of the season, um, and I'm obviously going to beat Wilson for the rest of the season, which is nice. So, see at the end of the season how how the rest goes, and yeah. and set targets for next season. Let's just yeah, just take it step by step, basically, and see how I progress. And and in terms of competition, um, I know you didn't play in the Boreham Wood game, but Hey, Ashby Hammond, who is yeah, one yeah. of your competitors, I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. at Fulham. Um, you got some interesting comments from Wilstone fans about being yeah. called <laughs> George Wickham. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's it's a very tough environment, academy football, yeah, looking to make that, that step up. Um, we've seen some players at Fulham who have moved away. I'm thinking of the likes of Pat Roberts, who, yeah, and really obviously, he's, he's, I think he's just signed for Sunderland now. Yeah. But are you... Are you completely focused with Fulham? I appreciate you. You know, as you said, it's taking short steps and short goals. Yeah, of course. No, of course. I completely understand your question. But for me, I've obviously my goal of mine in the future is to, is to play for Fulham. But if it's not the best, if it's not the right club for me, and I can develop elsewhere, then I'm never be afraid to, to go there and, and venture elsewhere. I can't obviously have tunnel vision in terms of playing for Fulham one day because it doesn't work like that. But obviously, that is a goal of mine if, if going elsewhere helps me reach, reach as high as I want to get to, then I'm not afraid to do that. So, yeah. Absolutely. And coming back to, to, to Wilson in the second half of the season, we've obviously just gone past halfway. We know we're not on a great run of form, certainly from a points perspective. Yeah. Uh, and now we've got a run of three, I guess, winnable games coming up. Yeah. Um, aside from asking an obvious question, but what are your hopes and expectations? Obviously staying up, but yeah. you know, how far do you think this, this squad could go? You know, can we push for mid table? Was it very much a. I definitely think so. I think nine points after relegation zone, I think if you look at where well, I think we're 20th at the, 20th at the moment, aren't we? Which mm-hmm. I think if you go and win two games, you can end up a lot, a lot higher up. You'd be nearer the mid table than you will sort of the bottom. So I definitely think if we can go on a decent little run, 100%. I don't have any doubts that we're, we'll be going down this year. I really do, I really do believe that. I believe that from, from minute one since I've been here. But, I really do feel like we can push on back in the season. The more time we get here, <coughs> on Tuesday and Thursday, I think we can, go, we can do very well. And after the Yeovil game next Tuesday, it's the return game with Barnet. <coughs> we both starred in the home game, which was obviously a very tense, nervous affair. I think tickets have gone on sale today. We've already shifted 300 really? in, in a couple of hours. So it was a famous tackle in that game. Well, there it? was a famous <laughs> tackle, but you know, um, obviously you're looking forward to that game. But yeah. the trips to that we still got to come stop for example we're flying at the moment yeah. do, you, do you go into that nervous on the back foot because they're flying or do you go in with a I don't think so I, well I never do anyway I think that it's exciting I think in my perspective I think I feel as though it's a ch- even more of a chance for me to prove myself in games like that because I feel as though I might be more more busy than usual but no I think it's the same same within the whole lads we go in every game with no fear and I think that that should show I think it showed against Grimsby I really feel like we deserve something against Grimsby and I think we don't go those stadiums against those teams who were, were flying and we, we back down at all. I think we proved that when we played Grimsby when they were top four and Wood the other week. I hope we were very, we're very good. And I think there's a number of games where we've been in, in those games with the people at the top of the table and I think that gives us a lot of confidence. So that doesn't, doesn't matter us at all. And Connor, from your perspective, you've, you've kind of done a number of roles this season between the defence or centre-back, right-back. Do you have a preference? Do you think there's a better side of your game that comes out or are you... Um, kind of I mean, not really. Like since the age, I've been quite versatile. Um, I can play. Yeah, I mean, I can play either. Really, I enjoy both. Know the roles of both. So, like wherever the manager puts me, I'm happy to play. Them. So, like, same at Fulham. I've, I've done both at Fulham. So, 
I'm used to both of them. And, and my final question then, you guys knocking around the, what is effectively going to be a Premier League academy in another couple of months again. So, yeah. so come on, let's have a few name drops. Who's the best players you played with and against? Played with, what, they're still at Fulham or? Ever. Who well, stood out, whether you played against them or something? I played with probably Harvey Elliott, uh, Fabio, Lemsu, yeah. yeah. Probably play, play with the most, definitely the best team. Yeah, There's a few fun. others as well that are fighting around that should appear soon. Yeah. Uh, Fulham, those two definitely stick out, don't they? I think yeah. to yeah. go into a first team environment at the age they have and look that comfortable is. It's very rare, and I yeah. think it's a credit to them. And what about against who have you come up against that you thought, geez? There's been a few players to be fair. Quite a few of them, I'm trying to think. We played Leeds last year, didn't we? 23. Yeah. Got absolutely battered. They had um, Helder Costa was playing. They had Tyler Roberts up top. Yeah, Tyler Roberts. So that's that's good. Yeah. They played a very strong team, and I think when you go and play, those players who were from the first team, I think you would really notice a difference, especially in the 23s, and yeah, it wasn't, wasn't, wasn't the, the best day. Wasn't was the best day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Chats, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk appreciate to us, it. and uh, we wish you all the best for the second half of the season. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.